right, gang, we're here at our first house. We just purchased, we just closed it a couple days ago. Uh, built in 1954, uh, single owner, he built it. And so it hasn't been updated in a while, so before we move in, uh, we're going to do some painting, pull up the carpets, uh, under the carpets are hardwoods. Um, so let me show you what we're doing right now. So we're just cutting about five or six inches along the carpet and then taking up the tack strip so that we can put masking down along the baseboard and then spray all the baseboard and that way we'll leave the carpet as just a ground cover so that the hardwoods don't get spray on it. Uh, so you can see Bree is cutting away here. This tack strip, if you get under it and you do a small little mini with a crowbar, you push it up with a little mini bits, it tends to come up without breaking. That way you can get the whole strip easier in one piece and it doesn't break in a million pieces. And then you have to take the nails out. All right, change of plans. So instead of just going around the perimeter and ripping up the carpet and using the carpet as a uh, painter's cloth, we're just gonna rip up the whole carpet. Uh, it's reasoning behind this is because it's really dusty under the carpet and under the under carpet. So I don't want to paint and then have all this dust flying uh, onto the window sills that just get painted. Or you can see this very textured so all the dust is going to collect on top of that uh, texture. like Remy is gonna get swept up in the carpet like a dead body. Poor Remy. Bye Remy. <laughs> you guys know what to do. <laughs> Goodbye army green carpet. What's up guys? So we got all the hardwoods, all the carpet off, we got all the staples up, all the tack strip up. Hardwoods look pretty good. Uh, we're in the master bedroom right now. So in the master bedroom, we're gonna put carpet. Also in the other bedrooms, we're gonna put carpet. But then on a couple days from now, we're gonna have a guy come out and refinish uh, the living room, hardwood floors. So today, our job is we're gonna start getting ready for painting. All this wood trim around the doors, we have to, um, they all have like a little varnish or a gloss on them, so we have to take this deglosser and take a cloth, put the gloss, deglosser on it, rub it all over, and get all the deglosser off, and then we gotta prime it. The uh, reason why you gotta do that is because if you just prime over the deglosser, the primer is gonna scrape off easily. So if you get all the gloss off, then prime it, the primer is gonna stick to the wood a lot better. Um, so that's my job right now, is to go around and rub all the trim, rub all the gloss off.
Okay, got in all the gloss. Now I'm just running over everything with uh, some 220 sandpaper just to give it a little bit more grip. Uh, just using a sander, basic sander, right here. There you go. Uh, this master is pretty helpful. It just applies the tape to the plastic. I got the plastic off Amazon, the masker off Amazon, and a six pack of tape off Amazon. So, all oh, pretty good. Yeah, I just get... Oh, 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 oh. oh, we're recording. Are After you... a couple <laughs> hours of masking, we're finally done. We're about to start spraying. Um, <laughs> so Bree's making me take my union break. Um, but yeah, it took a long time to mask. Our backs hurt. Yeah. Anywho. It's so 11 o'clock at night, and we're gonna mm. try to get that first coat up tonight before bed. So, wish us luck. Watch us paint. <laughs>